Hello everyone, this is Left Hand. Here to uh, show this uh, three coiler in action again. Daphne circuit. Those coils there, they have iron on them. This one here, this is a uh, coreless that I've been working on. Um, nothing on there. It's uh, able to move the uh, 17 inch bike wheel. Um, not as not as uh, quickly as the other two that have iron in it, but it is able to move it. Um, this is uh, what um, I'm using. All three coils right now are, are this is what they are, are using. Um, let's see here. I'm using a car charger going into the capacitor, boost the power up to a little bit over that. What they're using, so I'm going to take this off. The uh, the air coil coil is uh, charging this here battery, which was powering uh, this here uh, meter. So I'm going to see what it's charging. It's good. It's charging at 10.99. That battery right there. 1097 6 cool it's dropping so it's taking a charge it was up to 14 a little while ago but it's accepting the charge now I gotta keep my eye on it though don't want to cook it uh, let's see these other two coils here they are charging a battery that I'm always uh, keeping charged 1078 it hovers around there you can get it to raise a little more but it likes to rest there and I use it to power little lights and stuff like that but let's see uh, let's see what we can get it to as far as uh, what the voltage is if I take two hundred and sixty six you see it lights these up and it drops speed. Alright. Watch this. There we go. That's the voltage that uh, the um, capac this, uh, car uh, this capacitor catches. And then I send it uh, onto that into that battery. And it's starting to uh, to raise up again in speed because when I take it off there it really drains it it uh, doesn't like it so but that's why you put that in there it helps protect that circuit if I didn't it would blow those transistors like it it start really melting the diodes and it would kick back and it would blow those transistors eventually so that's why you always use these uh, high voltage uh, capacitors here get them out of microwaves and all that for those batteries I mean for those uh, um, excuse me for the uh, magnets back there I, I get so and this is uh, what you get out of them and there's a lot of a lot of use uses in that so that's what they're still using so 0.69 Bring that thing back on let's see what this is still 1074 this is uh, And 59, so that thing's charging pretty good. Yep, this thing will get you. Let's take it off again, see what he does. Set, 270 volts, 271 volts. And it will light you up. It will get you. So, all right. I don't know what my RPM is on this. Definitely gets up there pretty good. So it's pretty efficient, actually. It hovers around here between 166 and 171, maybe almost up to 180 if I leave it run long enough uh, for like hours on a time. And this this bike wheel here, it's it's been ran uh, a lot. 
it's really been running a lot. So uh, I've, I've, I've ran it for, for weeks. I've ran this system here for for weeks and weeks and weeks, so without any flaws, basically. Um, definitely John Bedini was uh, smart in thinking the wheel thing. It helps to get a lot of inertia going. Cuts down on all of your... Um, you definitely your... Uh, input and helps efficiency so smart thinking all that so. well all righty everyone have a good day left hand out